Devastation in a small town. It was caused by a freight train carrying crude oil that derailed and exploded in Canada last year. 47 people were killed. Now, what's more disturbing, this very train may have gone right through Metro Detroit. Trains hauling the same explosive crude oil continue to roll through our area, but you're not being told about it. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirstner joins us live right now with more on the secrecy, safety, and supply of information. Jim? Four crashes, four explosions in two years. The feds and the Canadian government have issued emergency orders. Check this out behind me. This is part of the corridor, the international crossing. These trains go under the Detroit River over to Canada. You can see there is security out here. This white pickup is police. An explosion here would be catastrophic. July 6th, 2013, a small town devastated. They were unprepared and uninformed when a runaway train loaded with explosive Bakken crude oil explodes. I work right there, so I could be next. Of the 47 killed, five were unaccounted for. They could have vaporized in the intense fire. Anytime there's a danger involved, everyone should know about it. It shouldn't be a secret. This lifted a veil of secrecy that these trains move through several states, Canada, and Metro Detroit. It's something Michigan officials will not openly discuss. All they will reveal to us is the trains move through 14 counties, and the information is being shared with local first responders, but not you. The trains likely share tracks with Amtrak passenger trains on the route from Chicago to Detroit. I don't know if I'd use the term secret. It's a confidential process. And get this, Detroit firefighters say they've been told nothing. Not much information. You frustrated with that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we should know. That way we can uh, ensure that we're prepared to handle a uh, incident. That should have happened by now. On May the 7th, the U.S. Department of Transportation issued this emergency order requiring notification of Bakken crude oil trains within 30 days if they are carrying more than 1 million gallons. That's 35 tank cars, the routes they travel, actual amounts transported, frequency of trips, and rail company contacts. The feds even told the state to share this only on a need-to-know basis, not to the public, for safety reasons. Michigan State Police are the lead agency here. Obviously, that could tip off those who wish to inflict harm on us. But take a look at this. The state of Iowa made a full disclosure this week to everybody. The exact counties and even routes where Bakken crude oil trains travel there. The rail companies didn't want you to know, asking first responders to sign confidentiality agreements. At this point in time, I don't believe it's necessary for me to sign a confidentiality agreement. Another major issue is some older tank cars carrying Bakken crude oil, known as DOT-111, called by some in the industry the Ford Pinto, because they can easily explode. They were designed in the 1960s. They can carry 30,000 gallons, but with only a half-inch tank skin that can easily rupture, among other issues. It could cost the rail industry billions to retrofit or replace them. Canada has banned them carrying Bakken crude by 2017. I see this potentially being the next progression where uh, maybe there is a different rail car for transporting this. And state officials tell me they're continuing to share the information about these trains with first responders at the local level in Detroit. They want that. Stephen, Carolyn? Uh, Jim, those fires are so intense. How in the world do first responders even deal with them? Do they have the equipment and the training? They have equipment, but they need to use foam, and the most they can do is contain the fire, evacuate the people, and let it burn out. And people have a chance to speak out. I can tell you there's a protest set for tomorrow night, 8.30, right over here at the Michigan Central Station on the west side of Detroit. Stephen, Carolyn? All right, Jim Kirchner, thank you for that report. We will be keeping track of that meeting also.